guys, how's it going? Bailey, aka Red Room Retro, back again for another video. Hope everybody's been keeping okay. Hope everybody's been in lockdown, keeping safe, keeping well. Uh, I'm back at work on Wednesday, so I am ready just to break out the house and get back into a routine because it's been a very, very hard couple of months within lockdown. But we've had a chance to buy a lot of cool shit. So today's video is going to be movie and TV collection. Um, these teas are sort of stuff that I haven't really set out to buy. Um, they've just sort of popped up and then maybe up and up until about a uh, year, half a year, I thought, fuck it, let's just try and get the collection up. So I think there's 22 t-shirts here. I'm going to show you guys um, mostly horror tees. I know a lot of guys have been wanting to do a separate video, but I thought, why not just chuck it all in one and we'll talk about it all. So yeah, let's get into the t-shirts. Right guys, let's get into the first shirt. Real nice story behind this one. So me and one of my brothers got this matching tee back in the day. God, we must have been in maybe six or seven. My mum and uh, dad had been on holiday to Barcelona and they came back with bootleg versions of this shirt. And unfortunately, this isn't the original one. I really wish it was. But they came back with bootleg t-shirts of this print for us. It was in black and white and it said Barcelona underneath there. Was real stoked off it. It was probably around the 2XL. So imagine me as a kid just running around in that shirt. It was pretty sick. I found two of these in a charity shop uh, for me and my brother uh, maybe about two years ago. So we copped these. There's a great photo of us uh, rocking them together. So yeah, real stoked off this. Fantastic. I think the year was 99. Oh God, even earlier. 97. Super dope men in black rip. Uh, this is a licensed Simpsons one. So I'm pretty stoked off that. And then these two t-shirts, two of my favourites in the collection, to be honest with you. My favourite comedy duo, Jay and Silent Bob. Seen in uh, a bunch of Kevin Smith movies. Real, real sick tees, these ones. Clean, absolutely love the fade on that. Don't wear this one as much, because it just fits a little bit different. But absolutely love these. Uh, you see these pop up quite a while, uh, quite often, sorry. Um, but I grabbed these two maybe around a year and a half ago. So I was pretty happy with those. This one's really cool. Don't see this one pop up too much. The 007 Jaws T, super, super sick. 97, I believe. Fucking hell, my dating's terrible. <laughs> 94 uh, on a single stitch tag there. Made in USA. Super, super cool piece. You don't see this pop up too often. Uh, other than mine, I've maybe seen two, three at the most. Real sick, I bought this. It was dead stock uh, on eBay quite a while ago. Again, another tee that I bought dead stock. Found the packaging the other day. Uh, Jurassic Park, 1993. Single stitch on a Screen Stars. One of maybe, I think they maybe did like six tees of these for the Jurassic Park movie back in the day. This one's really cool. Like I say, I bought this still in its original packaging. Uh, luckily, it wasn't dry rot. Used to wear this one quite a lot. Most recent one, the Twilight Zone. Super, super sick piece, this one. Again, from 93. I don't know, made in USA. Fruit of Loom tag. Absolutely love that tag. It fits so nice. Real stoked off this. Condition's real nice. Unsure if I want to keep it. To be honest, I might get rid of it. Um, there's tees that I do sort of uh, wear a lot more than others. But this is real cool nonetheless. Don't see it too often. Maybe my favourite pickup of the lockdown. Uh, as people know, I'm a big, big horror fan. Um, but outside of the horror genre, The Warriors is my favourite movie of all time. Absolutely amazing piece. On a giant tag. Don't see movie tees um, with the giant tag too often. A ringer piece. Some people would argue and say, you know, the ringer kind of ruins it. But to be honest, I think it goes with the movie scene really well. Obviously, from the time when the movie released, ringer tees were all the rage. This will have been mid-90s, so... And here we go, we're sort of getting into the horror tees now. So we've got this fantastic long sleeve from 2000. The Crow there with Brandon Lee's eyes. Um, again, another classic movie that I relate to a lot. Had it on VHS when I was younger. Absolutely love it. Cool piece, this one. Um, got this one off Burned Out. Shout out to him. One of the best guys to be doing it in the game. Get some real cool pieces. And I uh, managed to snag this one. The Crow down the sleeve. Super stoked off of that. I buy a lot of long sleeves and I, I hardly wear them, um, but to be honest, I couldn't pass up on that one. Picked this out in Florida, I started a trade out with my uh, my boy Roy out there, super, super sick. Blair Witch Project, 
Uh, will have been on an old Winterlands tag. You can tell by the colour there of what's left. But unfortunately, someone's cut that out. A uh, bit of a bummer, really. Uh, 99? Yep, 99, that one. Super, super clean piece. I've worn this T-shirt a handful of times. And people have come up to me asking who's missing and stuff like that. It's so jokes. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead, 25th anniversary. Um, this was for a VHS release over here in the UK. Spoke to the guy who had bought out a uh, old video store in an auction, and he managed to grab a load of these and found them in storage. Uh, at the time, I think I'd grabbed maybe 30 of them, and I only have two left. One for me, one for my girlfriend. A lot of my friends picked them up. I was selling them for dirt cheap back in the day. Kind of wish I'd held on to a few more, but you know, it's one of those things. You don't really think about that. The next two pieces, posted these on my story yesterday. Henry portrait of a serial killer. These pieces are real, real nice. Real quirky movie. If you've never seen it before, definitely go check it out. These two tees are for separate VHS releases. I believe this one is from the UK, and then this is a US release one. Uh, there is one more design that I need, um, but fingers crossed we can find it. Newest style one, one of the first movies that I really got into um, when I was younger was The Strangers. If you haven't seen that movie, I believe they've done, yeah, two now. Uh, real, real good slasher. Uh, I believe this is 2000, is it time stamped? Yeah, it is. 2008, that says. Um, I'm pretty sure the movie came out earlier, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. Super stoked off that. I've had that one for ages, actually. Freddy vs. Jason Planet Hollywood Horror Series. These pop up quite often. Pretty cool. Love that back hit, See You in Hell. Picked this one up in Florida as well when I first went over there. Cool, simple piece. Um, like I said, they pop up quite often, but I've got this in a 2X so it fits real nice and baggy. Interesting one here. Early 90s Dr. Giggles. Uh, again, we had a lot of quirky uh, slasher movies back in the day. This is Dr. Giggles, real strange, about a psycho doctor who just goes off on one. Go check it out if you're into that kind of thing. Um, you know, I've watched pretty much a lot of the slasher movies that are just kind of strange and weird. Dr. Giggles is probably one of the most weird ones. Texas Chainsaw on old Haynes. This tee dates out to like the late 80s, so this was probably an anniversary shirt. Or maybe just a fan shirt, really. Probably could have picked it up on a mail order from Fangoria. Love this. Never really seen this variant before. The classic poster on the front. And then what almost looks like a lobby card printed on the back. Was real stoked off this. Single stitch, obviously. Um, real cool piece. Grab this on eBay for real cheap. So I was real stoked off that. One of the, well, I say newer. This is like a early 2000s, late 90s Texas Chainsaw. On the old Gildan Heavy Cotton. Faded to perfection. The more common design that you do see. But to be honest, it goes so hard. You don't see it too often nowadays. Quite a lot of them popped up. Um, but soon disappeared once the horror tea hype came around. Love that. That was by Blue Grape. Halloween, the night he came home. Again, another Blue Grape uh, licensed shirt. This will have been late 90s, 2000s again. They did a lot of the horror tees back then, so real cool on that one. My favorite Blue Grape Halloween tee. The first ever um, artist impression of what they wanted Myers to look like. Uh, just after they'd made the mask, they painted that up and it was real cool, real nice portrayal of him. And then the classic artwork on the back. This one's a strange one. I have a feeling it was a misprint. I feel like that should be on the back and then this should be on the front. Uh, drop a comment down below if you think the same, but honestly, this seems a little bit out of place on the front, but it's hard, it looks real cool. Another blue grape, Friday the 13th. So this one's interesting. That is a part, I think that's part three or maybe part two artwork. And then, uh, but it doesn't mention that anywhere on the shirt. So, you know, I guess a lot of these horror tees were catered for a mass audience. Again, by Blue Grape. I think the tag is still intact. Fantastic. 97, I believe. 98, close. <laughs> but yeah, real, real sick piece, this one. Like I said, interesting use of the artwork. I believe that is from the second movie. Love a Blue Grape one. 
Freddy Krueger. This is the artwork from Freddy's Dead. Super, super sick. Nice front and back hit. Picked this one up for real treat back in the day. Absolutely like this one. Just real cool. The only Freddy shirt I have. And then last but not least, I believe, yeah, is this beauty. Absolutely insane. Um, American Psycho tees, quite sought after nowadays. Um, I managed to snag this off a UK seller. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, um, but I grabbed it, was real, real happy to pay the price that he had it up for. Just because they don't pop up in the UK, it's a very American thing. Um, you know, pardon the <laughs> American Psycho, but yeah. 2006, the movie did release a lot earlier, but they didn't really merchandise the movie up at that point. Fantastic movie, fantastic book. If you get the chance to read the book, it's a lot weirder than the movie. Check it out. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. Uh, no introductions needed. Real, real cool piece on that one. So that's the movie and TV, guys. Like I say, it takes up a nice lump of the collection. Um, you know, I, like I say, never really went out and looked for movie and TV shirts. Uh, I've kind of just picked them up along the way. Um, but really started grinding sort of, you know, a year ago trying to find them. Um, so I just thought I'd show them off to you guys. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your favourite tea was. Um, I've got a couple of favourites in there. But like, we can only give away two times as much. Ten thousand dollars if your birthday matches the one in this envelope. Put your radio on ninety-four point seven FM and listen seven ten Thursday morning for your chance to win ten grand. KC ninety-five. It's our birthday, but you get the presents. Ten large could be yours Thursday morning at seven ten from KC ninety-five. Cool. So guys, if you haven't guessed it already, we're going to be doing a giveaway. This is just a big thank you from myself uh, to you guys for getting me to uh, 2,000 followers. Real happy with the progress the page has had. I just thought I'd give something back to you guys for showing the support. So here it is. We've got the super clean, naughty by nature, down with OPP cap. Made in USA, that one. Weakest link. Goodbye on the back. Anybody who's watched that show, this cap's sick. The Vanna Nevermind promo flag. I looked up on a wall. And last but not least, Wu Tang Clan Euro bootleg with the most insane back hit. Reminds me of a bat signal, that one. Real clean. So, yeah, that should be going live Thursday or Friday, all being well. Uh, I'm going to grab a good photo of the giveaway and then it's going to go live on Instagram. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Spread the love. And, yeah, follow me on Instagram for the giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching. See you later.